Welcome back to Fab Auto Mode Detailing. In this video, we will be reviewing as a tire dressing, Car Pro Pearl. Let's do it. So I saw on Pan the Organizer, uh, on one of his videos, he, he reviewed Car Pro Pearl, he showed him using it, and I really love the finish on Car Pro Pearl. And, because I'm a satin finish guy, I don't like the over, uh, really, really shiny tires, that's just not me, I know other people do, but I just don't like that. But I like that it's dilutable and you can use it on the like engine plastics, the interior, your dashboard, you can use it on pretty much almost anything. Uh, what's it say, it says, external plastics engine tires rubbers interior dashboards and leather and it's dilutable like tires is one to one so that's what i have diluted right now and then internal external plastics one to three engine one to one or one to three uh dashboard one to five so you have to have several different bottles to mix get your mixture that you want but i bought this off detailed image and by the way i do have an affiliate account with detailed image where you can get 10% off your entire order. It doesn't matter what you buy. If you use the product code or the code down here, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the screen. It does help the channel out. I don't get cash. They give me money to put towards more items on their website. So if you guys suggest products and I have enough money in the account, I can buy it. So if, you got, if you're gonna buy something from them, just use that, that discount code right there because they do discounts all the time but they're usually on specific items. This is 10% off your entire order no matter what you, what you buy. So I just wanna let you guys know that. So we're gonna do this on the 1994 Mercedes Benz SL600. You guys have seen other videos on and the tires are actually in really, really good shape. The car is in really good shape, it only has 28,000 miles. And like I said before, it belongs to Mark Dismore who is a former IndyCar driver. He drove IndyCar for 11 or 12 years and had 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 good success he won at texas but he had a really bad crash his uh, rookie season uh, at the indianapolis 500 he owns comet comet cart sales they sell go-karts uh, racing go-karts and he owns a go-kart track up in newcastle indiana a huge facility and all the indy car drivers go there and they race each other and they have benefits and fundraisers and stuff it's really cool um i, I know i've already told you guys that but I, in case you didn't see those videos now you know whose car this is it, it doesn't get driven very often it's got 28,000 miles on it so we're gonna we're gonna do it on the right rear tire because I got the best light right there and the car's pushed all the way forward because I just got done waxing it and I don't want to start it up again in the garage with the exhaust fumes and move it back. So we're gonna do it on that tire and then I'll put on all the tires and then we'll come back and I will show you what the results are. The background noise you're hearing are fans. It's about 90 degrees outside and 80% humidity and I was detailing the car and I was getting dust all over with the garage door open so I had to turn all my fans on. So that's the noise you're hearing in the background. I, I just realized I didn't read the actual directions um, it says clean the surface from dirt, oil, and dust. We did that thoroughly um, in the teaser video. I plan on making a teaser video for this car. Hopefully I have it out. Otherwise, I must sound stupid right now. Um, thoroughly cleaned them. We waxed the wheels, everything. Everything's good to go there. Dilute pearl with water, and then it tells you external plastics, engine, tires, rubber, interior dashboard, leather, pour and spray bottle, and shake. Spray o spray over dedicated surface, which I'm not spraying. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna you guys will see how I'm gonna do it. Uh, wipe off with microfiber tires. Rubber can be applied with sponge applicator. Now I'm not going to wipe it off with the microfiber because I want to see if it dries to the touch. That's that's what I want it to do. Now I've already diluted it. I bought a ketchup bottle. Detailed Image sent me these stickers when I made my very first order, so I put them on here. Um, one to one tires. I bought a ketchup bottle from Walmart for like 97 cents. We'll see if I like it. I may not even like it. I don't know. Now I'm going to tell you that in my opinion, this stinks. I think it smells like whiskey. That's what it smells like to me. Whiskey. Uh, I hate the taste of whiskey. I hate the smell of whiskey. Um, but that's, that's what it smells like to me. But I've got this, a 16 ounce bottle. We're about right there. When I fill this little bottle up, it's a, I think it's a 16 ounce bottle, something like that. I don't know. Eight ounces, it's an eight ounce bottle. No, it's 16 ounce, I'm being stupid here. It's 16 ounces. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe I'll delete that out so you guys don't hear me being stupid. Okay, so here's the bottle. It's gonna be really thin because it has water in it. I bought these applicators from Shiny's Details. Oh, yeah, it's very, very thin. Maybe I do need to spray it on. Let's just do this, let's just rub it in. Make my hands smell nasty. Ugh. I do not like the smell. Ugh. 
But I do like these applicators from Shinies because they wrap around the tire. It's, it's been good on every single tire that I have put it on. See, that is a very nice satin finish. Let me show you. I may have to find a different way to apply this because that bottle probably ain't gonna work. We're gonna see if it will uh, come down a little bit. I can deal with that. It's a little bit too shiny for me, but that's not bad at all, at all. So what I'm gonna do, let me get my phone. So I'm gonna go around and do the rest of the tires. Hopefully I remember to show you when I get off the phone. It is 410. We'll see how long it takes to dry. And we'll see if it dries to the touch. It's 4.22, so it's been 12 minutes. I'm actually went in and cleaned all the windows and stuff too. I'm very happy with the results. The tires look absolutely fantastic. Make those wheels really stand out. Let me show you, this is the one I started on, right? I feel just a little bit. There's gonna be no issue with uh, slinging on this, for sure. It's drying. It's really humid out, it takes a while longer than normal to dry. They all look really good. I gotta make an ending to my other video, so I'll use the same ending, and I'll just show you guys it without the crazy music and stuff like that. I'll show you what tire shine looks like outside. But I'm really, really happy with it. Car turned out great for a 25 year old car. Well, there you go. Tires look absolutely fantastic, as you just saw. I'm really happy with this. Yes, in my opinion, CarPro products are very expensive, but this product is dilutable. It's the only CarPro product that I own. I have, I have tried the IronX. This is the only product that I currently have. I think I paid $20 on detailed image, but it's, but it's, uh, it's dilutable, so this should last me a long time. Hang on a second. I did four tires. This was full all the way to the brim, so as you can see. I've still got a lot left of this bottle. I think you can make that one bottle last you a long time. The tires just look really, really, really good. I'm real happy with it. Easy to apply. Now, my bottle that I chose to try to dilute it with, I gotta find something else. Maybe next time I make a detailed image order, I will, they have uh, empty CarPro Pearl bottles, so you can dilute your products. That's probably what I'll end up buying next time I get something off detailed image. But I'm really, really happy with this as a tire shine. I will make other reviews on it as using it in the car, as a dressing in the engine bay and stuff like that. But this was just for tire shines. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Ring that bell so the next time I upload a video, you get notified. And don't forget, every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live and I like to see each and every one of you there.